If you're somebody who's just getting into seven strings, you're looking to get your first seven string guitar, maybe this can help you out a little bit. What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay. Today I thought it might be fun to take a quick close comparison and contrast between the two seven string guitars that I currently have here at the home studio. Now the first one is my Ibanez RGA71AL and I'm putting it up against my Schecter C7 SLS Elite. Now if you're familiar with the channel you know I've had the Ibanez here for a couple of years. That is my first and only seven string I've ever owned, ever played, and at the time that I bought it the reasoning for settling on that particular model was because it's offered in a 25 and a half inch scale length, which I thought that's most similar to my six strings. So fast forward a couple of years and now I'm into more of the drop tune stuff, the lower tunings, and I found that the strings are just too slack and it just, this tension is just too light for doing the fast stuff or the, you know, really quick down picking stuff. I didn't want to use a really thick string gauge on there to kind of compensate for that issue. The Schecter is offered in a 26 and a half inch scale length, which yes, it's only one inch difference. This was really a perfect compromise and Schecter does offer several models in that 26 and a half inch scale length, so obviously other players were looking for something similar. Both of these guitars are currently strung up with 10 to 62s. They're both tuned down just a half step, so they're both an E flat standard currently, but sometimes they go a little bit lower. of this video today is really to do more of a comparison and contrast between the two regarding specs and the physical dimensions of both guitars. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at the neck thickness, the width, the length, we're going to look at the fingerboard, the construction of the guitars overall, the weight, those kind of things to see how they're similar and how they're dissimilar. And perhaps this information can you know, help you to make a more informed decision if you're somebody who's newer and you're looking for your sep first seven string guitar or you just really want to know what are the differences between you know two different brands. I think a lot of people that do reviews on seven string guitars really don't get into the minutia of things like this in greater detail and I thought it might be useful for somebody out there and for myself as well. It's just a reference to you know remember that even though two things on paper seem like they're very similar, they can feel, look, or sound very different once you get them in your hand. The first thing that I noticed was between the two guitars is that the Ibanez, which has a shorter scale length, is actually a little bit longer overall than the Schecter by like half an inch or so. And that's mostly at the headstock. So the Schecter is a three by four headstock, whereas the Ibanez is a seven in line. Uh, headstock configuration. And that does play into the fact that they feel a little bit different when you depress the strings. There is a little bit of difference in string tension because of that. And I want to discuss that in more detail because a lot of people I think don't mention this. You know, how quickly or how, how tense those strings are for how quick they respond to your picking, especially if you're doing some more advanced picking stuff and a lot of fast down picking. How many times can I say picking? I don't know. If you're playing hardtails like this that don't have the locking nut, then you have to account for the additional string length beyond the nut to the tuning pegs as part of the overall tension. The longer the string or the shorter the string is going to make a difference when tuning to a specific, you know, tuning. All right, and there's birds outside the window. I never get birds, now they're all singing like crazy. It's not spring yet, guys. It's sunny out, I know. First time in like 50 days. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it now.
Okay, so now let's head over to the guitar workbench. And by workbench, I mean my 412 cabinet with a blanket on top. <laughs> and take some measurements. Got my handy dandy flexible measuring tape, so let's get into it now. Okay, so like I was saying before, the overall string length, not the scale length so much, is really what determines uh, your overall string tension. Because there is no locking nut on both of these guitars, we're gonna measure from the actual peg head to the where the string meets the bridge. So for instance, the low B string here on the Schecter comes in at 28 and 7 eighths. The E string measures in at 30 inches heavy, and the A string comes in at 31 and a half inches. All right, so for the Ibanez, the B string comes in at 27 and a half inches. The E string is 28 inches uh, heavy, about 28 and 1 eighth. And the A string comes in at 29 inches. So there you can see there's a significant difference between the two in the overall string length. Okay, now let's measure the neck width and I've got my more precise uh, measuring tool here. So we'll start at the nut on the Schecter. We're coming in at uh, one inch and 28 30 seconds. 12th fret, it's gonna be two inches and 13 30 seconds. And then lastly, the string spacing at the bridge is uh, two inches and 15 30 seconds. All right, now for the Ibanez, at the nut we have uh, one inch and 27 30 seconds. 12th fret is uh, two inches and 12 30 seconds. And then lastly, the string spacing at the bridge is going to be uh, two inches and 17 30 seconds. So for whatever reason, uh, the Ibanez has a wider string spacing here at the bridge. So, you know, factor that in if string spacing is an issue for you. This is gonna be a little bit wider on this guitar. Another thing I would mention as well is that the Schecter has the bridge pickup much closer to the bridge than the Ibanez does. And also, um, obviously the Fishman Fluence pickups are higher output, so factor all that in too. So it's gonna be brighter, louder overall and uh, maybe that's what you're looking for. Okay, and lastly, let's check the weight of both guitars using this little luggage scale. Uh, it's not extremely precise, but it gets us close enough. So the Schecter weighs in at 7.96 pounds, and the Ibanez comes in at 7.26 pounds, so it's a little bit lighter. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Really appreciate you sticking around to the end. If you haven't already, smash that like button on your way out. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out. See ya!